506. You're listening to Click Here on CHUO FM 89. My name is Mitchell Kaplan. Valerie Tech is an e-waste recycling factory and computer store in Gatineau. To find out more about what Valerie Tech does, I'm joined in the studio by Edith Desrosiers and Marc-André Tessier of Valerie Tech. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let's uh, start off with the first question. Uh, when we're talking about e-waste, what exactly does that include? It includes any electronic material, so any electronic gadget you have at home, uh, computers, cell phones, laptops, printers, there's a bunch, personal PDAs, anything like that, old pagers, even uh, turntables. Really? Everything. Really? So really? What about CD players? CD players, radios. Well, okay. That All the stuff you could have in the studio could be... <laughs> Once it's past its lifetime, it would, could be considered e-waste. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, uh, you know, you say that you recycle everything. What are you able to do with the waste? Uh, we don't recycle everything. We don't recycle electric items or, um, like, fridges and stoves right, and stuff like right. that. But, but those are also can be considered electronic yeah. waste as well. But you, um, you say you're able to recycle the whole computer, for example. Yes, we, we recycle all of the... Computer components, uh, the glasses found in uh, monitors, for for instance, old monitors, uh, those have actually to be sent to a special um, to a special melting system because they contain uh, mercury and uh, lead, and we also re- recycle all the metals, the plastics contained in computers. Uh, some of these plastics are heat treated as well, so they need more special attention than the regular water bottles, for instance. And do you do it all on site? We do it all on site. Mm. They're all dismantled by hand, actually. Yeah, it's a 100% uh, manual process. So uh, there are employees on site that are dismantling and separating all the different components. Is it dangerous? (laughs) It can be dangerous for your health if you don't do it properly. For instance, um, old CRT monitors, the ones that are very wide, they contain lead powder. And uh, the problem with these is that if you break the little cathodic tube inside, the lead powder gets into the air and can affect human health. So you have to do it properly, and we make sure that everything is unscrewed properly. Um, That's why we're ISO 14001 certified, and that certification is for environmentally friendly procedures. Uh, And what do you do with all of this stuff, Marc-André? There's a lot of stuff like, for example, there's gold on um, motherboards and stuff like that that we can take apart and sell to um, different companies that that deal with these products. Yeah, these companies will reuse those materials and, uh, for for example, with the metals and they might make new computers, uh, cars with the aluminum from the computer boxes. Now, we always hear about uh, computer recycling, for example, that that they don't actually recycle the whole computer. So why are you able to do more than uh, than other uh, people are able to do? Everything is recyclable in the computer. Um, it's just that a lot of recycling companies, um, they'll use computer parts only. They'll dismantle the computers and just use the computer parts and not necessarily recycle properly the rest of the stuff or they'll just send it to another recycler without making sure that recycler won't send that stuff to China or to another poorer country where it'll be dismantled in very pitiful conditions just for the cost of the components themselves. What we do is we ensure everything gets recycled through the OES program, and the uh, OES program, the Ontario Electronics Stewardship, ensures that this is done properly through all the recyclers that they approve as well. So well, I, I want to ask you about the Ontario program and, I guess, programs in other provinces like Quebec. I mean, what type of support is there What is there for uh, recycling of e-waste? Uh, right now in Canada, there's about six provinces that have a recycling program for electronic waste. Uh, Ontario has a very very good one i think alberta has a pretty decent one as well but other provinces like uh, quebec are just getting into the uh, creating a program so there isn't a steady program yet and you know we hear stuff you can read articles in the papers about it but there's nothing concrete concrete such as the ontario electronic stewardship program so to recycle like valerie tech is located in quebec but we also have like um uh, storage area in Ontario, so we can 
you know, serve Ontario through that because of that. But a lot of recycling centers, uh, well, for, for recycling in Quebec, for instance, you need to have, uh, you, you might have to pay for certain components such as CRT monitors, which is about, uh, it's thirteen ninety six to recycle a computer in, in Quebec. Uh, in Ontario, it's completely free through the program. So that's a big advantage that Ontario citizens have over other sp- citizens of other provinces. Do you have uh, any idea of like what percentage of uh, of electronic uh, appliances are recycled? I don't have any of these right. stats right now, but mm-hmm. there's there's usually a lot of <laughs> computers in every year in Canada that get thrown out. I know that we recycle um uh, thousands of tons of electronic waste every year. So, but I don't have and any numbers with me right now. And it's a um, very important program because a lot of electronic waste gets thrown in uh, in the dumpster and it gets to landfills. And there, all the components uh, like lead and uh, other uh, minerals in the in the computers pollute all the areas. So it's very important to um, take every electronic waste that we can have, and so we can. And uh, safely dispose of all uh, of everything. I guess you're seeing different electronic waste now with different uh, electronic products on the market. Well, that that's the thing. It's that the electronics market is so volatile right now. There, you know, it's always changing. Oh, buy the new iPad when you have a perfectly functional older laptop at home. If you're doing stuff like Microsoft Word, and you know, most people don't use very big computer programs. So that's that's why like the whole market of oh I need this new electronic gadget right now it creates a lot of electronic waste you know you wind up with piles of it at home and you know people don't necessarily want to throw it out oh maybe it's going to be good maybe this adapter will work for my next thing but they don't most of the time and so that's why you know the program like Ontario Electronics Stewardship when we go out and we do a collect in the public people are like oh i'm so happy i can bring you all this stuff because i didn't know what to do with it and i didn't want to throw it in the garbage and so people are very enthusiastic about it you always feel bad throwing stuff out <laughs> so yeah uh, yeah do you, do you feel that uh, i mean that the companies themselves should be taking more of a like the manufacturer should be taking more of a lead role on this issue um it's uh, the the Ontario program for recycling is very it's it deals more recycler to recycler to consumer to private companies. Um I think that what's going to happen in Quebec the program will will make the producers of these electronic components responsible a bit more for uh for what happens with them after their their end of life. Of course, you know, with computers like any other electronic material it's always reduce reuse and recycle recycle should always be at the end of the process and la relance outaouais which is the organization who's in charge of uh, valoritech also is in charge of the local computers for schools program so we actually try to reuse computers before and if you have computers at home try to send it to your local computers for schools program or somewhere where you can it can be refurbished before you send it to recycling because that's always, you know, we try to extend the life of your electronics. Uh, a computer generally has a life cycle of about four or five years. Um, and you can easily extend that life cycle to se- seven to eight years by refurbishing it. So that's also a great gesture to do for the environment. And it's not only that uh, it gets used again, but it's for kids at school. You know, maybe the school doesn't have any money to buy brand new computers for everyone. So they have a tool um, they can use to uh, better the education of the kids. It's not just schools, actually. It's also yeah. uh, libraries, public daycare centers, and uh, a nonprofit organization. So it's very well. Yeah, so if someone is listening and they, they have uh, some uh, electronic appliance that they want to uh, recycle, uh, what, what, what can they do? Easily, if it can be refurbished, uh, try and have it refurbished. If not, recycle it through a good recycling center. And how, if people want to deal with you, want to t- bring it to Valérie Tech, how can they uh, do so? They can bring it at uh, our factory on 700 Boulevard Grébert in Gatineau. Or we also have um, uh, an arrangement with the, uh, the Ottawa Enviro Boutique uh, at 366 Rideau. And people can bring their computers, old telephones, uh, CD players over there and get rid of it the right way. 
So it's a nice place to do it. I've been talking to Edith Desrosiers and Marc-André Tessier of Valérie Tech. Uh, they are uh, located at 700 Boulevard Grébert in Gatineau. And also, as you mentioned, uh, uh, you have a, you, people can do a drop-off at the Enviro Boutique on Rideau. Your website is valérietech.ca. That's V-A-L-O-R-I-T-E-C dot C-A. Thanks uh, to both of you for dropping by. Thank, Thank you, you so much.